Emergency crews have their hands full tonight cleaning up the wreckage after a major train derailment in Houston. It's wild. It's, I've never seen anything like that close up. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharon Merger. CBS 13's Mark Thompson is in Houston tonight with the very latest on this cleanup effort that could take days. We're here at the intersection of Santa Fe Avenue and Hatch Road where that train derailment took place last night. As you can see behind me, the massive cleanup efforts continue well into the night. Fortunately in all of this, no one was hurt. Heavy equipment rolling in throughout the night. Large spotlights illuminating the task at hand, a massive cleanup effort after a train traveling from Barstow to Stockton derailed around 1130 last night, the wreckage rattling residents here in Houston. Holy moly. <laughs> again, it happened again. It's still unclear what caused the train to derail. BNSF railway officials say as many as 30 railway cars were involved sustaining significant damage. Most of the cargo, steel beams. Fortunately, we did not have any injuries involved in that incident and no hazardous material was involved. We'll do a complete and thorough investigation to determine the cause. I mean, we look at a number of different factors. Meanwhile, the wreckage causing quite the scene. It's wild. It's, I've never seen anything like that close up. I had to come over here and take a look at it. Yeah, I, I work a lot, so I'm usually not around town. So I don't get to see all this kind of stuff. And raising concerns about infrastructure and the overall stability of the tracks. It sh should have been safer. What about if somebody was driving down this road and a car fell off, hit him? It makes me wonder about train safety. This is not the first time it's happened. It happened just a couple years ago, maybe three miles up the track. Investigators are asking the general public to avoid this area around Santa Fe Avenue and Hatch Road as the cleanup efforts continue. Now, they hope to have things restored sometime early tomorrow morning, but they say it could take several days, and they're asking the general public to stay off of these roadways as the investigation continues into what led that train to go off the tracks. Guys, back to you. Mark Thompson in Houston tonight. Mark, thanks.